okay in this video we'll be talking about how to connect search at cluster with indexers okay so so when you talk about connecting search at cluster with indexers there are two scenarios comes up right so if i just write it down over here connecting search at cluster with indexers which are already clustered clustered indexer right and another scenario could be connecting search at cluster with non clustered indexers right indexers now in this video we will be concentrating on this part where we will be collect we will be connecting the search at cluster with a non cluster indexer a list of non cluster indexers okay and when in later videos we will talk about indexer clustering after that we will be covering this portion where we will be connecting the search at cluster with a indexer cluster as well okay now to do that what i have done is i have taken this seven instances over here okay so these three instances are three searches we have three indexers and a deployer okay now what i have done is this search heads i have already connected as a cluster okay with this with this deployer as well as you, as you already know deployer is always resides outside of the cluster so if you are not sure about that just check out my video videos on search at clustering i'll be giving this link as well that video link as well in this particular video okay so now what we'll do is we will try to connect this search at cluster so this this three searches are now in cluster okay so we'll be connecting with the indexer okay so just to show you like this three are in cluster so what i'll do is i will just log in to the back end of these three search heads okay so let's wait for some time because this key transfer takes some certain amount of time so we will do sudo su now after logging okay we'll go to our splunk home bin folder hope it is splunk bin folder okay i'll just clear the screen here now we'll run a command called dot slash splunk show sh cluster status okay just to see whether what what are the instances are available in the cluster just just to i just wanted to show you the setup here okay and the auth is admin user id and the password you have to give over here Okay. so if i just run this particular command it will show you which one is the captain okay and what are the instances what are the members of this particular cluster if you see my search at one two and three are member of this cluster okay so now what we'll do is over here is we will connect these three indexers with the search head okay now here also we have lot of options to do it okay one is if you remember from my previous video when when i talked about distributed search right so there we we connected the search heads with the indexers using some mechanism right either from splunk ui or running a splunk command right we can follow the same thing over here as well but the thing is that so what i am saying is we can either configure or connect connect this to configure it configure this portion configure this we are talking about this guy only now okay then configure either manually manually okay so that's manually could be from the splunk web right splunk web or updating the config file updating the config file from backend right if you want to know the um, config file name i already discussed that those those config files in in the previous video i'll be giving that video link as well over here okay so from backend okay or running running a cli command right by running a splunk splunk cli command 
right so the problem with this there is no problem the the main cons with this particular approach is if you have a huge number of searched cluster member and huge number of indexers for each and every indexer for all the indexers basically if for in each and every searched member you have to run this this commands okay so this is time consuming the second method is to is to update it automatically we will be discussing this this stuff today okay so automatically means we will do we will be doing this configurations okay adding this particular in adding those indexers into one search head then we will allow splunk to replicate those configurations automatically to other search head cluster members okay so this approach has lot of good stuff because you have to do it once and it will be it will be automatically propagated to other search head members okay so to do that what we will do is we will for each and every search head okay we will go to the server dot confine okay cd slash opt what i'll do is i will just directly vi it slash opt slash splunk then slash etc then slash system then we'll go to local okay then we will see the server dot confine okay now inside the server dot confine okay we'll add one configurations so that which will allow splunk to replicate the configurations throughout the searched cluster members okay now the configuration name is and that that particular replication basically uses a wrapped state machine okay it is not like other configurations used by splunk clusters to basically propagate the apps and other other configuration this this particular configurations update or this particular replication uses separate mechanism called wrapped underscore wrapped state machine so that's why the the that particular stanza name is also wrapped underscore state machine so we will copy this particular stanza over there okay so we'll go to insert mode over here we will paste that stanza name wrapped underscore state machine and over there there are two configurations one is disabled equals to false which is basically telling us to that that this particular this particular replication me mechanism we are turning it on that's why you have to give disable equals to false so by default it is turned off okay and replicate search pairs equals to true this is the this is the configurations it is telling splunk that you have to replicate to the all all the search pair related configurations to all the search head members okay search head cluster members basically so we will save this particular file okay and we will restart splunk dot slash splunk restart okay so we will be doing it we doing this stuff in all our search head members cluster members so let's do it for sudo su okay we will go to slash opt splunk bin folder okay we'll clear the screen then we will run the command the same way okay we'll go inside the file we will paste that particular stanza details so that the replication will be turned on for this particular search head member as well okay we will save this particular file we will restart splunk okay so now after that we will do the same thing with the search at cluster 3 as well okay this is our third search at cluster member sudo su cd slash opt splunk bin folder will go we will clear screen we will run the same command here vi opt splunk search server dot conf okay insert okay we will go to insert mode and we will paste this guy over here okay and we will save it we will restart splunk so what what we have done is we basically 
turned on that particular replication in all the searched members okay searched cluster members now what we'll do is in one of these members we'll go inside and we will just add those indexers over there okay so to do that what we'll do is so i, I actually taken all the searched and indexers and deployers ip address okay uh, it is the same external ip address we have it over here okay i just note it down over there so what we will do is now we will go to search at class search at one okay so this is our 34 68 to 25 23 right so if i just match it over here so search at cluster one there's the same ip address we will log into the splunk over there So now, if you see it over here, there is one thing I don't wanted to show you over here. If you click on settings over there, if you see there are a lot of settings related stuff are already hidden over here. Okay, because when a particular Splunk instance is a part of search at cluster, so only those settings related to the cluster, you can do it from the UI, will be turned on over here. Okay, otherwise other settings will be hidden over there. Okay, now as we are doing a replication settings okay which is a little bit separate from other replication stuff over there okay so what we will do is we will turn we will just unhide other settings so that we can add a indexers over here okay that's why we will be clicking on show all settings over here then we'll be clicking on show okay then we'll go to settings now if you see the other settings are appearing over here we'll go to our distributed search as we have done in our distributed search tutorial over there right so we'll go to search peers as by default the distributed search is already turned on by splunk we'll go to new search peer okay and the peer uri as you have remembered we have we just need to give the ip address and the management port over here okay so what i'll do is the first indexers IP address and this port will copy okay and it will be 8089 over there and then we have to give the authentication of that particular remote user remote instance so we'll be giving the same authentication I have created when I have installed Splunk over there okay it is the authentication of this particular indexer okay I'll be clicking on save over here okay so if I just go to distributed search search peers so that particular indexers is applying we have it is showing up over here okay so this is our search at one now let us see what went with the search at two as we are as we are expecting that this particular indexers details will be replicated to the search at two as well right so for that we will just log into our search at 2 over here okay similar way from the settings we will just turn on the show all settings okay then we will go to distributed search we will go to search peers okay. it, is, it is still not replicated let's wait for some time now let, let us see okay now upon refreshing if you see it over here the added indexers 172 is already added to the second search head as well 204 right so if i just go over here so this is our search head number two now let us see what's happening to the search head three as well okay so if i just log in over here okay similarly if i go go to settings show all settings show then go to distributed search over here search peers okay it, that is also replicated over here as well okay so that means we added in one place that means our search at one and those settings has been replicated to search at two and search at three as well okay now similarly we can add other indexers as well so it, if I just add indexer 2 now, okay, new search pair, just give the IP address and the port number of management port, okay, give the credentials, okay, 
okay then we'll be clicking on save over here in, this is our search head one right so we have added indexer two over here okay so now if i just go over here and refresh the page it is coming up already okay so that means we don't need to do it manually over here similarly it will happen for our search head two as well search it three as well okay so we'll add indexer three as well okay similar way now you can you can do you can do this addition of indexers or search peers using splunk command as well so okay so it, ideally it will be same okay and uh, and if you if you already see in my video on how to add search peers in distributed environment right it's the same way you can do it but in that way if you are running if you are running a splunk command or if you are directly updating a configuration file you may need to restart the splunk once okay and if you are directly updating the configuration files the configuration final name is distributed search.conf i think yes in that case you may need to manually distribute the authentication files as well okay i have to remember that one i have discussed the same stuff over there as well in my video okay so i'll be adding the third indexer over here okay but this is really cool way to add search peers over there okay so if i just refresh it so our indexer 3 is over here okay so i'll just refresh it in other places now similar way for our search at 3 as well okay so now now if i just in in, in in any of the searches if i just run a query it should show the data from all the different different indexers over here so if you know our if i just go to underscore internal index right so run it for last 24 hours let's say okay it should show the under underscore inter internal index data for all the different indexers including this particular search head as well okay so if i just click on host over here if you see it is not only showing up the its own underscore internal events it's also showing up the events from all these three indexers as well okay so in this way we can just verify like this 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 particular search head cluster now this these three are in search head cluster right that particular cluster is connected to a non-clustered index okay and how we have make that configurations work by automatically distributing that particular indexer label configurations like indexer peer addition configurations automatically by using a raft mechanism okay now you may face lot of issues when when you you using this particular kind of replication in that case I'll, I'll give you one link over here okay let me let me find it out so in in our distributed search documentation troubleshoot search at clustering yeah if you see it over here under troubleshoot search at clustering there is a uh, thing called handle raft issues okay so sometimes when this raft mechanism doesn't work in, in that case you may need to stop the splunk clean the raft okay it's basically creating an underscore raft folder over there in, inside a particular member you need to clean that and up and and start the splunk to just to fix this this steps are required to fix a for a particular member now if you want to do it for all the clusters what you need to do is just stop all the members clean the raft start all the members choose a captain okay and then just re-add that search peers again so it will be it will be automatically replicated to other other search members as well okay hopefully this video uh, intuitive enough so in in the next video what we'll do is we'll try to see other other features of the of the splunk search at clusters okay see you in next video